I'm humbled, Bill, that I'd be selected for something like this. I'm not a, an awards type of guy, uh, naturally, I think, and I know a lot of people aren't, but uh, I appreciate the fact that it's really about the railroad, the women and the men here that really get the job done and that we're making improvements on a regular basis, and that's a good thing for Amtrak. So there's a great deal of uh, value that we're adding in, in a, in, to this nation. But there's still a national need to have a connectivity with uh, passenger railroads coast to coast and border to border. We're buying equipment, we're, we're increasing our revenues, we're increasing our ridership, we're changing our direction, we actually have a strategy. The three things in our strategic plan that we know we have to make happen safety, customer service, and a better financial bottom line. Safety is the foundation for any transportation system because if people don't trust the safety of your operation, your company, then your, your customers aren't going to flock to the trains and we're seeing them come pretty well. Congress and the public together need to, uh, to get together on is the fact that if Amtrak goes away, and we, we have about 525 stations across the country, over 300 of, them, 300 of them, we're the only service into those communities. So the economy in those communities, and you can see it in La Junta, Colorado, for example, on our uh, Southwest Chief Service, are fully dependent in many ways upon the ability to come in and out of their communities with rail and the connectivity to rail. And, and the other thing that I know to, to lead, you have to have logic and you have to have compassion and you have to have a, a, a clear direction of where you're going. Part of the compassion that, that our nation has and yet isn't always expressed is the fact that buses have gone away, aviation has gone away, the middle of our country in a lot of ways today needs an ability for those in, in my generation, I'll be 65, and those in, uh, in front of me in age, to be able to travel other than on just interstate highways. I also have a very important role in uh, increasing revenues and reducing costs. Congress wants that, and so does the public. They want to see a system that really uh, produces efficiencies and, and provides a better service. Those are difficult uh, things to do, but they're not insurmountable, and we're seeing that today. We need to build infrastructure to grow this nation and to grow our economy. And it's all infrastructure, it's not just railroads. So we're talking about the necessity here to think about a balanced transportation system. Highways, railroads, aviation, ports, and the nation is not well served by those who are lobbying and demanding for only one source, one, one piece of the infrastructure that needs to be rebuilt. We know that for the future, we can reduce the time traveled on a continuing basis as we improve the railroad. We know in order to get to that 220 miles an hour, there needs to be a major change in the United States government policy of making investment in railroads. But we can't stop improving the existing railroad, and that's what we're set up, we've set about and we are doing. There's going to be some future opportunities, because our debt, our debt is really to the future. It's not to the past. It's those who are going to follow you, that are going to stand on your shoulders, that are going to improve passenger rail and rail transportation in the future by having benefited from what you've done now. So the debt you owe to the future are the people that you select now, the, the process that you put in place, the strategy that you have, the values that you've developed, the culture change that you're looking for to provide for the future. I've got a great team and people that are really delivering at a senior level here in this company, changing our culture, getting to something very different for the future. That, uh, that, that will deliver a better railroad and a better experience for our customers, maintain our safety, and improve the bottom line.